Okay, come on. Heads up. I'm Moving ready, out. So, uh, make the call. Excuse me. Ah, the switchboard. A lot of memories here. Is that you? Hmm? There you are. Strike him! Oh, he's in his eyes! Any suffering, you may incur. Adam, 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 Adam,
them seize all heretic. You cannot buy.
Why? Not many doctors around these days. You should let me take... Sure. Patch me up, Doc. Tell me your symptoms. Uh-huh. Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. Blood pooling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yep, we better clean you up. Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? Actually, never mind, Doc. Fine. Come back later. Excuse me. Looking for a weapon? Let's see what you got. Great. New girl patched me up, put me on her shoulder, and blasted her way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. She said she wouldn't risk her life for the cause. Hello, words. I'm actions, and I'm speaking awfully loud. Point taken. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? 
Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I... I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Why should I join you? If you're having any doubts, you shouldn't. Not very many of us live to retirement. But if you're like me, that doesn't matter. There are great wrongs that need righting. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Call me Charmer. Charmer? Hm. Fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded secrets, so be careful. Sometimes the direct approach isn't the best to take. Excuse me. Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Don't they need you here? My job's mainly intel. So the more places I go, the better I'm doing it. And you are just one big beautiful distraction. Plenty of opportunities to learn secrets moving around in your shadow. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. Hey, Duncan, I think you uh, dropped this skin flake. Huh, what do you know? lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe, and we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. The other day I was looking for junk and found a protractor and a compass. I swear, it almost gave me Listen PTSD. up, everyone. This Geometry man. is Charmer. Too she did the switchboard off with Too Deacon. Soon. She's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show her the ropes. Feel free to welcome her aboard. That is all. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. Rebuilding takes time, but we have the men and women to do it. <clears throat> hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. Sure. Hope you know how to use a minigun. Oh, and soak up bullets. <laughs> Yeah, you heavies need a lot of punctuality and attention to detail, right? If so, I'm golden. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. <clears throat> Sorry, Tinker Tom's got me doing... something. <clears throat> Glad you're with us. Testimona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, 
Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. What? You don't think I can handle a dangerous job? The danger doesn't concern me. Your work at the switchboard proves you can deal with that. I just hope the mission doesn't require knowledge about synths and our procedures. Something you've had scant opportunity to learn. You guys recruited me. I don't need your attitude. Charming. I'm sure you and Glory will be fast friends. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. He may have a good reason to be paranoid. Perhaps he does. And maybe he did the other dozen times he's made our agents jump through these unnecessary hoops. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. We've been traveling for a spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. What do you want to talk about? I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing, especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. You've never had a partner. Not for a long time. Besides, partnering up in the railroad can leave you vulnerable. One more person who can finger you to the Institute. Some people at HQ were jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. You're saying that losing my boy is a good thing. Oh, Jesus, no, I didn't mean that. Look, if the church gets compromised and the coursers are on our tail, at least you're not putting more people in harm's way. That's all. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a synth. At least that's what they tell me. So. I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. You're a synth? Why didn't you tell me before? I don't like talking about it. I was one of the first synths they did the whole cranium reboot on, so it was a bit of a botched job. Most synths have fun fake memories. A happy home, a family. Me, I got nothing. And that, well, it does something to you. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. If you expect me to believe you, I want proof. All right, you got me. No fooling you, huh? Don't take it personally. I lie to everyone. Maybe I'm just another human that has people back home he wants to protect. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> Is that really why you lied to me? I'm supposed to be showing you the ropes in the railroad, so let's just say this is lesson, well, whatever number we're at. That code I gave you is a hard truth. You can't trust everyone. Even if someone sounds sincere, they could be a synth replacement working for the Institute. The bitch of the problem is recognizing the 90% of the time someone's on the up and up and the 10% of the time you're being played. Hey, Doc. I still can't believe Dez assigned you to our HQ. Well, I did risk my neck to recover your prototype. Be that as it may, put simply, you shouldn't be here. 
It isn't a question of competence, it's a simple matter of security. So you must be the head of the unwelcoming committee. Charming. <sighs> Since you're one of us now, might as well try to keep you alive. If you need patching up, see me. What type of doctor are you? My specialty is need to know and all that. However, I assure you I can treat any ailments or wounds you're likely to encounter. Word to the wise, be prepared to improvise. You may find your operational orders lacking. You're obviously one of the smartest people here. What do you really mean by that? No one doubts Desdemona is uh, inspirational. But let's just say strategy may not be her forte. You can confide in me. I hesitated to bring it up, but you will be risking your life on our behalf. When planning a mission, a certain degree of clinical detachment can be invaluable. Provided by someone like you. As the third senior most member of our organization, I do have the honor of participating in the planning of our missions. But my counsel is not always heeded. Focus on the objective. Everything else is just a distraction. Good luck. We've been making the rounds, doing the job. It's time you learn the big secret. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah-rah speeches, but it's just an act. She does what I tell her to because the railroad, it's my show. It's been that way since I founded it. Do you really think I'm gonna fall for this? Fall for what? Haven't you noticed that when I say the word Desdemona does a 180? Hey, there's an intruder. No, I vouch for him. Then welcome. Every time. It works best that way. Gives me room to maneuver. We've come a long way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good. Saved a lot of synths. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the Institute and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. You've lied to me at least once. This is just more of the same. Yeah, you got me. But you're gonna hear the same sort of lies elsewhere. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're gonna spoon feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing, what they're asking you to do, what sort of world they'd have you build, and how they're gonna pay for it. So what's the railroad's deal? We're not about saving the world. Too big a job for too few. But we're trying to make it a better one. One synth at a time. And care about the little guys. Maybe lend a hand on the side. Not as much as some would like, but hey, it's something. But the real question is, what do you think of us? And at the end of the day, you'll need to make a choice. Make it the right one. <clears throat> hey, you. You the new heavy? Charmer, right? What do you mean, heavy? A heavy. Someone able to take whatever shit the Institute and Commonwealth dishes out and come back for more. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Mines and shit, too. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? I didn't do it alone. But, yeah. That's about the size of it. That's hardcore. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. With a whole lot of bullets and a whole lot of blood. Fortunately, the blood wasn't mine. That's how you do it. Well, welcome to the party. After what happened to Tommy Whispers, we need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. Who's Tommy Whispers? Tommy was a second heavy at HQ. He went KIA after the Institute assholes took out the switchboard. With him gone, I've been running missions nonstop. So I'm damn happy you're here. They call me Glory, the angel of death, the ass-kicking poster child of a liberated synth. Kind of a mouthful, isn't it? You can call me Miss Angel of Death, for short. You're helping out my people. 
So some advice? Kiss up to Tinker Tom. He's batshit crazy, but he's got all the good stuff. What sort of good stuff are we talking about? Firepower, armor, repurposed tech. Doesn't hold a candle to the Institute, but it'll save your ass in the field. You take care out there. Processing. Agent. Charmer. Your arrival was not calculated. That's a strange way to say hello. Temporarily unable to process verbal input. Still processing. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam. Predictive analytic machine. Do you work for the railroad? Yes. My goals and the railroad organization have a high degree of correlation. They provide data. I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region, designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing, I predict the future. But you didn't predict me coming. That's correct. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably. All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. Just how inaccurate are you? The smaller the group, and the greater the time frame, the less accurate I become. But all predictions are affected by the human element. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query, what is your point of origin? I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 111. Cryo Vault. Believed destroyed. Conversation terminated. Pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye. Pam. Solving for theta n when I approaches probability bounds. <clears throat> the sensor sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. I went through a sensor sweep? Every test does will let me run. Full EMF scan, biological sniffers, and other state-of-the-art security. So the sweep says the Institute isn't watching you, or us. But the tests lie, man. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. Are you seriously asking if I eat food? The food out there is dangerous. It's contaminated. That's why I grow my own food. Reclaimed pure water, local nutrients, nothing goes in me that I don't see. That, that's how you stay safe. The Institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. They're in my blood. Absolutely not. Tom, we ran your tests extensively. We found red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, everything you'd expect. And that doesn't get you the least bit suspicious. The results were too perfect, too expected, and that's how they fool you. Could the Institute really do that? Look, everyone says Tinker Tom is crazy. Until I'm right, you gotta understand, those Institute scientists have centuries on us. Just working like crazy little bees, dreaming up the most messed up stuff you can imagine. Remember, in the blood. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. Des, De Desdemona, says no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? What's in the shot? We got algae, 
some yummy bacteria culture, and just a little bit of battery acid. But, but we gotta burn those babies out of you. It's a hard reboot of your system, man. There's no way in hell I'm letting you do that. Fine. Let them hear and see everything. Okay, okay. I hope you like your whole life being downloaded to the Institute's mainframe. Actually, I dose myself with radiation to kill the blood robots. I read you, man. Smart. I'd rather have some hair loss than let the Institute win. Hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. And come back, and I will set you up. What do you make? All the custom toys you field agent shoes, my boys and I make. We're thinking outside the box, man. Gotta get real creative. Real wacky to stay ahead of those Institute eggheads. Don't even get me started on all their secret projects. Now, I got all these ideas in my head. So building time.